Hi, my name is Carrie. You might know me as Kay Warning or from my shop 8-Bit Stitch. Today I want to talk to you about how to frame a cross stitch. There may be more ways to frame a cross stitch than what I'm going to show you today, but these are three techniques that I personally have used. I will not be showing you how to finish a cross stitch in a hoop today. That can be saved for another video for another time. So for our pieces that I will be framing today, I recently finished my cheesy pun patterns. And I found some custom frames on Etsy from a shop called The Rusty Roof. I got three different sizes because my pieces are three different sizes. So three different frame sizes for three different framing techniques. And something I want to mention to you guys, if you take a look at the back of these frames, they have these little tabs. This might be kind of a duh tip, but um, I use a butter knife to get underneath these tabs and pry them up so that it's easier to get the backing out of this frame. It just saves your fingernails a little bit. I'm going to take a moment to spray my pieces with some wrinkle release and press them because they're still a little wrinkly and I don't want to frame them while wrinkled. So with any of these techniques, the first thing I'm going to do is um, get the backing out of the frame. The first technique I'm going to show you is sewing your piece around the backing from the frame. So this little cardboard piece came in the picture frame and I'm going to use this to sew my piece around the back side to keep it tight around this piece of cardboard so that it fits perfectly in the frame. With this method, you'll take your insert from the picture frame. You'll then take your needle and thread and you will sew your Ada together on the back side of the frame insert until you've sewn down the entire piece. You'll notice as I'm starting my thread that I'm wrapping it around the Ada several times. That's because I don't want the thread to pull through the Ada and for the stitching to just completely undo itself. I want it to keep its tension. Now I don't usually cut down my piece to do this method. It just so happened that my cross stitch was the exact height of the picture frame but had excess in width. This did seem to be a little bit more helpful than previous times that I've used this method because I didn't have to worry about the bulk of four sides of Ada being sewn in the back. So I think moving forward if I use this method again I probably will cut my piece down either probably height wise not width wise just to make the framing process a little less bulky and that's really it so it down the back side make sure that it is tight enough to hold its shape on the insert of the picture frame and then just frame it as you would a picture This technique I do not use often. While it does work really well for the piece, it is a little time consuming. I do use regular hand sewing thread as to not waste my DMC thread. Perfectly fine technique. I just tend to be a little lazy and don't want to take the time to do the sewing for this framing technique. The second technique I would like to show you is using a sticky board. So I have two different types of sticky board in my collection right now. So this is the self stick. This can be found on Amazon in various different sizes. 
As you can see, I've got a big guy. I cut this apart to use for custom size frames, which I will probably have to do for this one because it is a eight by eight frame. You can find these in like eight by 10, five by seven. And if that is the size of the piece that you have, I do recommend ordering the exact size because cutting these are not fun. I have used scissors. I have used a, um, what do you call those? Like the chop chop, you know, like people, like teachers use. They're not like guillotines, but like that's the first thing that comes to my mind is like a paper guillotine, you know, where the, you have the blade and you come down on it. Oh my goodness. Tell me in the comments below what that's called. I feel really ridiculous for not knowing the word up to that. <laughs> I've used both those options. The downward slicing guillotine item tends to be the easiest um, for cutting these. However, I don't have that at my house readily available. So I do end up cutting these a lot with scissors, which can be a pain. Don't use your fabric scissors, you will ruin them. I also have smaller pieces. I found this one at Hobby Lobby. So this is the Yarnology. I believe a lot of the big box stores do carry their brand of these sticky boards. So if you need them quickly and don't wanna wait through Amazon, you can go to your big box stores and find these. So you'll cut your mounting board to the size that you need. This size that I need is eight by eight. I will use the insert from the frame as a reference on my sticky board so that I can get it the right size. I will also cut down my finished stitch to the same size. That will just help me center the piece in the sticky board. That's probably the hardest thing that I find is getting my piece centered on the sticky board without having to kind of like keep retrying. Some pieces are easier than others. If it's a smaller piece, it tends to be a little easier. So if you cut your piece down to the size of the frame, it just makes it a little more simple to line it up with the edges and get it centered the first time. You peel off one side of the mounting board to reveal the sticky side line up your cross stitch and stick it down, smooth it out, and you're good to go. You can put it in the frame and it's ready to go. What I really like about this technique is it's quick, easy, and pretty foolproof for making sure that you don't see any slippage of your piece over time. So yeah, that has become my number one framing technique that I use now is the self-mounting board. My last technique for the day we are going to use on our smallest piece. And this is the technique that I started using when I was a wee little new cross stitcher. And when anyone would ask me, for my tips on framing, I'd be like, I just do this and it's fine. The first thing we want to do is use a ruler to measure out your piece to the size of your frame. I use a clear ruler because I can line it up, center my piece, and see my piece behind the ruler to make sure that I'm getting a centered measurement. Mark it off and cut your ADA down to the size of your frame. For this frame, I am doing a five by seven. Cut your piece to size. and put it in the picture frame. <laughs> Just treat it like it's a photo. And if you have a backing to the frame, make sure to save that and use it. That can help with any slippage or bubbling of the piece. However, I have noticed in pieces that I have framed in the past that there is a little bit of like, almost like a ripple look to them when I did this technique. So I have been going back and reframing some of my pieces with the sticky board. But if you are kind of in a bind or like I said, you have the backing for the frame that can kind of hold it up against the glass and keep it from slipping, this can be a totally fine technique. I wanna say it's really only a handful of my pieces that I have noticed slippage on. So I haven't replaced all of my pieces and frames. So if you're in a bind or you have, I don't know, a piece that you're just making for yourself and you know that it's not really gonna bother you if 10 years from now it looks a little like rippled or you know that 10 years from now you'd be okay with reframing it or opening it up and repressing it and making sure it's beautiful again, then go for this easy route. <laughs> but 10 out of 10 would recommend 
self stick board. That is my number one go to for framing. If you know of another framing technique that you recommend, please let me know in the comments below. Like I mentioned before, I will do a how to finish your cross stitch in a hoop video later on. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If so, click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next video and until then, happy stitching. Insert B roll here. <laughs> I hope I enjoy that later. I won't. I'll be like, ugh, oh, what a nerd. So with these, you will cut your self mounting um, stick board, your self stick. It's called self mounting board. I keep saying sticky board, mounting board, um, tomato, tomato. I don't know. <laughs>